Hey what's up folks, Jambook Reviews here and today I'll be reviewing Flash of the Spirit, African and Afro-American Art and Philosophy by Robert Farris Thompson. I'm not sure if he's retired but he was a professor of African and Afro-American History of Art at Yale University and up to 2010 was the longest serving member of a residential college there. He has mounted several major exhibitions of African art at the National Gallery in Washington, D.C. He has published several books on African art. This one, originally published in 1983, being the most popular. Now the book focuses on five different cultures and their art. The first chapter focuses on Yoruba art from Nigeria. And the author explains how the different sculptures and pottery designs are based off concepts in the Ifa religion. So it goes to like the deities and all of that. The second chapter deals with the art of the Bakongo people from Zaire and surrounding countries. Their art is primarily in the form of drawings called cosmograms, which they use to depict their religious concepts. The author also delves into the use of medicinal charms which have a certain artistic element to their construction. The next chapter focuses on voodoo in Haiti and it is very interesting because along with his analysis of paintings and sculptures, the author also incorporates linguistics into the study to show the linkages between voodoo in Haiti and the Yoruba and Dahomean cultures from Africa, showing how certain customs survive across the diaspora, so you don't go only get hard history in the work. The fourth chapter focuses on art from Mali, or Mandi art, in the form of architecture and also textiles. The final chapter is about Ejagam art of the Cameroonian people, which has several of the other previously mentioned art styles with the addition of costumes and rituals. So as you can probably tell, the book is thoroughly researched. Its, its scope is broad in its nearly 300 pages and you don't only get art history but also wider information about the various societies. The professor consulted direct sources like voodoo practitioners and ifa diviners, published and unpublished studies, and he also visited the various locations where the art is located in Africa and the Caribbean. The professor seems to have a deep respect for African culture and assesses the artwork on their own merits within their cultural context, which brings out the true intelligence and beauty of them. I also like the fact that the author made various linkages throughout the book to show that the cultural knowledge didn't die after it crossed the Atlantic, it just changed form. So now let me talk about some other aspects of the book. It's art history, so there are many pictures included. They're in black and white, but they are of high quality, so it's not really a problem. The book is written for both academic and a general audience, so it's kind of technical, but not too difficult to understand. I found myself skipping to the end notes sometimes to get clarity on certain points, but it was okay for the most part. It may require multiple readings to get a full understanding of the book though. With all that being said, I rank it 5 out of 5 stars. If you like the book, I would also recommend the documentary series African Voyage of Discovery by Basil Davison. It is more general history than art history but very informative. So thanks for listening to my review, like and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.